fine. The screen is going to go up to 85. Then from here we're just going to contour this and we're going to give it some rounded step contour which is that selection right there. So you can start to see that we're going to have an, an area to sort of fill in like we have it embossed edges. So that's looking good. Now we're going to satin and the color that we're going to be using in satin is going to be again open up your color dialog box by clicking on the color 8 E 8 C 0 8 multiply is still the correct blend mode we're going to change the opacity to 74 percent the distance and the size are also fine And then we're just going to quickly add just a little color gradient just to brighten up, um, or excuse me, a little color overlay to brighten up our gradient overlay. Um, again, open up your color dialog box, and we are going to select a color 91791A. And that's going to be a screen blend mode with the opacity at 44 percent okay so there we go we have our first layer our sort of gold on the bottom layer um, that is going to going to give us a, a foundation for this text effect now here we're going to go back into our layers palette and we're going to select that first group that we had created and we're going to drag that to the top so now you see that we just have um, a black layer up on top here, right click, go to merge group. Now control click and make a selection out of that layer. Go up to select, modify, contract. Now you contract the selection by six pixels, as you can see here. So there you go, click OK when you have that. Now after you have that selection, we're going to press control shift I to select our inverse of that selection and make sure you have that that layer selected press delete on your keyboard after you deselect you'll notice that now the black is filling in um, the areas that sort of that rounded step contour gave us and we just have some more layer styles that we need to apply to this layer so again we're going to open up our blending options by right clicking on our layer select blending options Again, we're going to start with actually the same gradient that we used in the previous layer. So click gradient overlay. And then we're just going to select that. And this time I'm just going to use those as um, as default settings right there. Those are fine. Um, again, we're going to be doing some bevel and embossing. So click bevel and emboss. This time we're going to be doing a pillow emboss. So select pillow emboss. Size and soften are fine. the multiply we're just going to actually come down and just sort of lighten that up again we're just going to bring that down to 57 percent okay here we're going to add a contour again of rounded steps there we go and a texture of slate which is this selection right here. Now we have to add our pattern which is going to be our gold, our sort of diamond pattern that I've done. Now, so you're going to select the new diamond crush pattern that I've created and you've loaded into your pattern palette. That's the one that we're going to be using. And then actually on the gradient overlay, we're going to be changing this to linear dodge. And now you can see that we have a pretty neat little text effect going on here. We're also adding layer styles to that layer. 
So from here, we just have one quick little step to finish up to give this some depth. We're going to select uh, our initial, our bottom layer, which was our, our initial text layer. And then we're going to go ahead and create a new layer. So come down into your layer options here and click on the create new layer. You can control shift N to create a new layer. We're going to drag that one all the way to the bottom. Sometimes if you have a lot of layer styles, um, it can get a little a little annoying trying to drag something to the bottom, but there you go. We have want to make sure that this layer is all the way down at the bottom. And then we're just going to fill this with black, and I use my uh, Shift F5 hotkey shortcut to fill that with the foreground color, which I have set as black, and enter. Deselect that, and then with your move tool you're just going to nudge this up and down to just create a little bit of depth whichever way happens to look better for your, for your design depending on which way your lighting is going but there you go there you have it it's um, pretty quick easy little uh, text effect that you can do definitely um, doesn't look too noobish like you're just you know throwing gradients on there or whatever but um that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, you can add some some bling effects and watch some of my other tutorials to see how you can add some lens flares uh, to even add, add a little bit more to this, but that's basically it in a nutshell. So, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can get at me at icemultimedia at gmail.com or hit me up with a message on myspace.com backslash icemultimedia uh, right now we're having a special $65 for one front cover mixtape cover and uh, $85 for front and back. Get at me if you're trying to trying to get it cracking. You want some real deal designs? Um, you can check out some of my work on the MySpace right there. So uh, happy holidays, everybody! I'll talk to you later. Peace.